Cracking down on retail theft with brand new criminal penalties. Fox 5's chief legal correspondent Katie Barlow joining us live tonight to break down what's now changing. Hi, Katie. Good evening, Marina. Virginia lawmakers passed a bill making it a class three felony to steal more than $5,000 worth of retail from one or more stores over the course of 90 days. This law received bipartisan support in both chambers in Virginia, and it has the full support of Governor Glenn Youngkin. And it particularly hits our small business owners, our retail shop owners, that many times they're the first to get there in the morning. They're the last to leave at night. And they've had such a, a cost of doing business that has skyrocketed, simply de dealt by retail theft, that some of them have to close their doors. And so it was a, it was a message we were hearing loud and clear from retailers. We are talking about crimes like this one, a smash and grab at Tyson's Corner Jewelry Store. You can see the person smash through the glass case at Elite Jewelers with a hammer. Now, the Washington Post reported that critics of the law, like Brad Haywood, who's a public defender, say the retail theft threat is overblown. Walgreens chief financial officer recently said on an earnings call that the retail giant may have overstated the problem last year. But A.G. Miara says he has, he has heard support from retailers large and small, including from CVS, and Walmart. Now, the law won't take effect right away. It still needs to head over to the governor's desk for his signature. Marina. All right. Thank you, uh, Katie. I guess the bigger question also is, are they going to make uh, any tougher penalties because of a difference in potentially evidence when it comes to contemplating this new uh, law? Well, A.G. Miaras actually said Virginia modeled its law after a few states, including Arizona, Illinois, and just across the border in North Carolina. The Carolina law took effect on December 1st, but Miaras said they had seen evidence of a drop in larceny-related crimes in border towns in North Carolina compared to right across the border in Virginia.